language. Which language in your eyes is the best? In the sense of it being able to communicate truth, be able to communicate values. Okay, Arabic, which is Arabic. Arabic. Okay. There you go. Arabization. That is why like the Coptic Christians ended up living in their country speaking Still Arabic rather than Coptic. Can you be compassionate? I, yes, I can. Can Allah be compassionate? He is your passionate. There we go. So you're made in the image of Allah. Is it the same? This is, is what we would believe. Is my compassion this is what as, we believe. Is my compassion the same as the Creator? Tell me how it's different. That's what you think. Does Allah have reason? Is, is Allah rational? That's what you think. Does he create a rational universe? That's what you think. Are you rational? I'm rational, yes. Yes, is Allah rational? No. So we're going to do What's a talk. What's your name? Bob. Uh, it's nice not my real you. name. Not oh, my okay. real name. Okay. okay. It's a name that I use here. My, my real name is Kumail. Nice to meet you. Nice Kumail. to meet you. What oh, church you, do you go to? I, I'm a Christian. I just which go. which Christian? Christ, uh, just a Christian. All Christians okay. are just disciples. But do you go to church or no? Yes, of course I go to a Which one? I'm not going to tell you. That's a private piece of information. Okay. Okay. All right. You know. My wife is Christian. She okay. goes to Russian Orthodox. Brilliant. And you're, you're Muslim? Yes. yes then, sir. brother, when are you? Have you studied the Orthodox faith? I, I, I go once in a while. You go uh, once in a while? Yeah, well, I used to. But, yeah. uh, and what's your impressions of the, the Russian Orthodox Church? I, d I don't really know because they I don't speak Russian. Okay, yeah. But I do play drums. Yeah. So um, they, they said, because they didn't have a drummer. Right. So it's a not it's not a Russian Orthodox Church. Yeah, because like they, yeah, yeah, but they're all Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all Russian. Yeah. And they all speak Russian. The whole thing is in Russian. I would love to go. You should like come. A great church. You should come. Where will I find it? Uh, it is in uh, uh, Apex. Apex. But they had co they closed down the church because um, um, I don't know. They had to, but he, yeah. Yeah, I would encourage you, bro, to to. Like they might be speaking and, and practicing the faith in Russian because the, the reason is that our... What about Messianic Jews? One, one second. Sorry. Let's not jump from topic to topic. So because our faith, it, it doesn't practice, it doesn't practice cultural imperialism, you know? It, what it does is it takes the it takes a culture as it. So you're a non-denominational Christian. No, I'm not non-denominational Christian. It, it takes the culture as it I finds am it. Too. One second. I'm a non-denominational okay. Christian. So it takes the culture as it finds it and it elevates the culture by amplifying that which is good within the culture and diminishing that which is bad within. I the completely culture. agree with that. It's not like Islam, where it which Arabizes. Islam? Non-denominational like, like, Islam? Well, there's only the, the, there's the, the Islam that has Arabized all of North Africa. There's a lot of different Christians. Well, can you give us an example? Of Egypt. Egypt. Uh, give us an example. Yeah, Egypt. Yeah. I've just given you an example. Oh, give us a practical example. Yeah, I'll give you an ex a practical example. So, a practical example of Arabization. Yeah. What was the original language of Egypt before Arab conquest? It was Coptic. Yeah. Now, do you know what anything about Coptic? No. Coptic is a, 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 its alphabet is Greek, okay. but its words were the words of the pharaohs. Okay? Right? So, so now well, what, 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 what is, is, one so, second? So what is one intrinsically, second. what is what the language is, of Egypt now? What is intrinsically bad about that? One second. That? What is the language of Egypt now? Okay, Arab. 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 So that's Arabization. Okay, so what is, is that? So, so, sorry, one second. Oh. Is that an example of Arabization? Perhaps, perhaps. So, uh, well, well, <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. Okay, fair so enough. So what is intrinsically bad about that? What's intrinsically bad about that? Because it denies the, the, the culture of the, the people that it oppresses. You know the Coptic no, no, Christians. No, 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 no. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, denies the culture. Now, of the, you've, the Coptic you've, Christians you've introduced, you've introduced were forced you've to speak introduced, Arabic. You've introduced yep. the, the concept of oppression now. It so is oppression. Saying, how is it oppression? Cultural oppression. How is it oppression? It's because the Coptic Christians they they remember their language. They celebrate their liturgy in Coptic okay. in their churches. You still don't demonstrate how intrinsically. Yeah, so it's oppression. It I'm going to explain how it's oppression. I know you can't accept it because no, you no, have to defend it. Islam at any cost. No, 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 and Despite the fact that the Quran says speak again, speak the truth even if it is against yourself, despite that, we know that Muslims don't follow those kind of injunctions okay. from the Quran, okay. especially here in the past. Okay. So here's, here's the Arabization. Okay. You oh, asked me how it's oppression. No, no, no. But, but let me, you let asked me. a question okay. about how it's oppression. And you, let me said, answer. and you said that the premise of your, your statement was yeah. you said that Christianity does not practice cult, uh, cultural imperialism. No. Okay? No. Okay, so bearing that in mind, yep. you, you explain to me. 
how it's uh, taken over so-called Arabizations in intrinsically evil, intrinsically bad. Right, so I'm, I'm going to explain it to you, but you, you interrupted me yeah, the last I time to, I tried I to answer I this question. You, so let me explain to you why it is intrinsically bad. Would you agree that God has created all of humanity, not just the Arabs? Okay, and would you agree, would you agree, a self-evident, thank you, and would you agree that those cultures that, that, that are not sinful, like a language is not a sinful thing, yeah, is, is something that is unique, that is, has equal dignity with Arabic. Does, does Coptic have equal dignity with Arabic? Equal dignity? Yes, equal dignity you, with Arabic. Define what that means. So that it is of equal value, that it is of equal importance as Arabic. Well, I could only answer if I knew more about Coptic. No, you, do, you don't need to. You don't, you don't so need to know anything about Coptic. So the question, your you're, question you're dodging is, the question. No, no, so the question is, are all languages equal then, effectively? All, are, all languages, are all languages equally dignified? Yes, that's the question. I would say no. No. Which there's language, some, some which language languages, is better? So which, which is so the best language? Actually, there's some languages that are grammatically which is or the linguistically best language? more superior than others. It, it, since you've created a hierarchy of language, which is the best okay, language so in do, your eyes? So you're saying, I'm saying that all languages are not equal. You're saying they're all equal. Yes. Okay. So which, which language in your eyes is the best? In, in the sense of it being able to communicate truth, be able to communicate values, and be able to communicate everything. Okay, Arabic. Which is Arabic. Arabic. Okay. There you go. Arabization. Okay. Now, why you is still that not demonstrating how to, well, Because you keep either. interrupting. Okay. Because you keep interrupting. Okay, go ahead. If you could actually just discipline yourself for okay. a moment. Okay, okay, Bob. Control your tongue. Okay, because like you're you demonstrate all the time yeah. as well. Yeah. So, in terms of why it is intrinsically wrong. Okay. Because I believe that all languages are equally dignified. Okay? And to supplant a language is also to supplant a culture. If you say to the Coptic Christians that they can't speak Coptic, they have to speak Arabic, if you suppress their culture, is then that, that what happened? Is, that is exactly what happened. Okay, I don't know the history. I have to take the word. Yeah, what ended up happening is that as people uh, uh, adopt Islam, what they end up having to do, because because as you just demonstrated, Arabic is suddenly considered the best language. Okay. Yeah. Then they end up adopting Arabic okay. as the language. That's different. You saying they were forbidden from this speaking Coptic. Because that's what you're suggesting in point. No, well, well, what I'm saying is that Islam leads to Arabization. That was my original comment okay, that so you they were, took, they you they weren't forbidden with. from speaking the Coptic. The, the, it was a natural progression. It was an Arabization. That okay. is what I said. And I'm glad, we, I'm glad we've established. about it if you want. Uh, no, 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 no. It, it's a, an Arabization. Exactly. And let, let's look, the Berbers, did like they the speak? Of the, the, of, of yes, the, exactly. The, the, when, when, and when, that was, that was, when Alexander, was that intrinsically evil or bad? I, 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 would, I would say that, yeah, that, that sort of suppression of other cultures in the Hellenized Empire of Alexander the Great. Course of history. Oh, it, it, it is a natural effect yes. of history. It's a natural and effect of power. it's not intrinsically power. bad. It's a natural it's effect of power. Bad. And you've yet to demonstrate how intrinsically I, I, I'm, bad it is. I'm trying to, but you keep interrupting. Again, if you could just discipline yourself. Bob, of course that's it that's is. That's of course it is. But then you can't complain if I don't manage to finish a sentence without you interrupting. You then can't complain about it. Yeah? So, yeah, because you keep interrupting. Yeah, yeah, of course you will. Of course you will. So, the reason why it is intrinsically bad is because I believe, I believe, that you are made with the same dignity that I am made. And therefore, your culture, where it produces something that is not sinful, is as equally dignified as my culture. Okay? And that includes your language. Your language is equal to my own. And what's your native language? Well, my mother's tongue is Urdu or Punjabi. Urdu. Urdu or Punjabi. Yeah? Uh, okay. So, that, that language to me is equal to English. Indignity. Well, well, no, no, how do you, how Indignity. You don't know, but in Islam, you don't know, uh, in Islam, no, no, you can't make that sound. Uh, in uh, Islam, you know nothing about. I'm, I'm presuming, but you know nothing about Urdu or Punjabi, do you? How, how do you say do that you? it is? How do you say that it is? Um, you can only make that stand, statement if you know anything about it. No, no. I, what I can say is that because. Oh, there you go. Again, you once again, interrupt. Oh look, he's covered his face again. No. It's back to the there, there we go. If you cannot, this if guy, you never, this guy only ever heckles. And I'm not heckling. Whenever I try to, to debate this guy, he runs away. I'm trying to. Yeah, if you want to debate you, I'll debate you. 
Yeah? I'm if making you a point. To debate. Right, come so you don't let me. No, I don't want to debate right, people like so you. Be quiet then, because I'm having a conversation with him. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, you claiming yeah. something. Anyway, anyway, anyway. And this often, sadly, is why I, why I end up having to shout. This is why I have to shout. Because when I try to have a normal conversation with someone, I end up with this guy. Never shout. Anyway, so I say, I say, and the, the Christian faith teaching that because you're made in the image of God, your culture. You're digressing. Once again, you're interrupting. No, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this statement. So I said that why why you are dignified is because you're made in the image of God. And that means that your culture, where it is not sinful, is equal to my own, and that includes your language. However, Islam says that God is not multilingual, that God can only speak Arabic and that that is the heavenly language. That's not, that's not, and that's why that's Muslims have to pray not in Arabic. Says, that's why have Muslims have to bow to an Arabic city. That's why they imitate an Arab. That's why they copy the habits of an Arab. And the result of that is the suppression of cultures. That is why that is why the Coptic Christians ended up living in their country speaking Still Arabic rather than Coptic. What's your reply? No. What's your reply? Hold on. Still waiting for Bob to explain how all cultures so you ignored and all my language, point. all languages. You ignored are my point. So you ignored my you point. Ignored my point. You, you said English is equal. This conversation is not going to be very fruitful if you just talk past me. Engage with what I'm saying. Engaging with you. Engage with what I'm saying. You said. Shall I help you engage with me? Because you're missing the point. You said. No, I'm not missing the point. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not missing the point. Go on. You said all languages language are equal. Yes. I gave this. You asked me about my mother's tongue. I said yes. Punjabi or Urdu. And I said it's equal to English. English. I said, you and can't Arabic. That, you can't make that statement Why not? unless you know, Why unless not? You know about Arab, no. Arab, about the Arab No, that's language. not the premise of why I said it's equal though, is it? What, what was the okay. premise? What was the premise? Because he wasn't listening. I was listening. Now let's see if anyone I else was, was listening. listening. Why I did I... One second. I don't agree so what was my premise? Just because we're made an image of... There we go. That was your premise. There we go. He struggled, but he got it. He got it. Audio recall. Audio recall. Right. So now engage with that. Engage with that. Engage with that. Now, I this is how Muslims I work the crowd. I don't agree yeah. with your premise. Well, see, yeah. I don't agree with your premise. Right, so why do so you not agree, do with my agree with your fundamental premise? So let's premise. debate the fundamental no. premise. Because no. 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 if I'm debate, right, do I have to agree let us debate the fundamental, fundamental well, premise. premise. What do I mean by no, saying no, man is made in no, the image no, of God? No, 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 we're going to show that video. No, 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 you, no you don't get to do English. nothing Wassim, here. Wassim, Wassim, Wassim. You don't get to do nothing here. Wassim, there is no Sharia He's here. Not, we're not Wassim, your supremacist ideology. Don't, you don't, don't, you don't get to talk. You don't get to sit down anything. anything. No, we're going to film. No, let, me, let me ask a question. We're, we're going to film. Can, can we're going to film. We're going to film. No, 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 what's it, what's it, what's it? No, 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 no. What do you say about Sharia? What is Sharia? No, we're going to talk about what I'm talking about with this guy here. Wasim, Wasim, is that turn away. Turn away. Turn away. Yeah, turn away, Wasim. Turn away. Turn away. Turn, turn, turn away, Wasim. Arabization needs to be stopped. And if you want to stop Arabization, you have to stop Islamification. No, you're just okay. So, anyway. Come and talk to me separate. Oh, uh, yeah. Come and talk to me so, separate. So, let, let us, let us no, look no, at why I say man is made in the image. Do you know where George is from? Yes, exactly. I'm going to show you why. And then we're going to debate. Come and talk to me separate. Do you know why Jesus is born? you to debate whether it is true or not. Yeah, he's speaking a foreign language. Whether it is true or not. Why are you being rude? 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 Put the camera on this guy. Why are you being rude? Why are you touching his camera? No, why are you touching his camera? Why do the Salafists always come to the park and act like they own the park? Don't talk. No, no, no. Put him on camera. We'll talk to him. I'm going to stand here. He's filming me. No, no. Get off. Get off his camera. Get off his camera! Arabic, look, look, he's right. No, put him on camera. Let's put the Salafist on camera. Right. Yeah. 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 Keep your hands off other people's property. No, we're not interested in your supremacist nonsense. This is how the thugs of Islam behave in the park all the time. Keep your hand off other people's property. Why did you touch his camera? That's why I touched you. So, we'll go back to the original discussion. Let's talk about this. I'm not interested in your fundamental 
fundamental belief. No, no, no. Because the premise of my argument is based on my premise. Right, so let's debate it. Subjective premise. So let's debate it. Self-evident proof. So let's debate it. Are equal. Let's debate it. Let's debate it. Fundamental belief. Let's debate it. Why is Wasim running away? I'm not interested. He came to. All right, right. If you don't want to debate me, I'll talk to everyone else. Right, I will do. All right. So, are we made in the image of God? No, I don't believe that. Okay, let's debate that then. Are we made in the image of Allah? Tell me, does Allah have does Allah have reason? That's what you think. Does Allah have reason? Is Allah rational? Does He create a rational universe? Are you rational? I'm rational. Yes. Yes. Is Allah rational? No. Is Allah their God is irrational? No. I so the, the, the I, nev I never said that. So Allah doesn't think like us, but we're not so, dealing, so he's not rational. We're not, we're not dealing with. So your he's irrational. We're not dealing with your fundamental. That would explain why Allah we're comes out with a lot of irrational commands to Hadith. We're dealing with your initial premise that all languages, tell me. all languages tell me. are equal. Tell me. So tell me how all languages. Are can you be merciful? I can be merciful. Can Allah be merciful? Allah is all merciful. Okay, so you're made in the image of Allah. So is that what okay. you mean? Is that can, what you mean? Can you be compassionate? Is that what you can mean? Can you be compassionate? Is that what you mean? Can you? Yes, that is what I mean. No, can you be compassionate? You that's not what that mean. is what I mean. No, it's amazing. The Wasim is actually telling me no, my own beliefs. That's not what you mean. Rather than just ask me no, that's about that's what I believe, he's telling me what I believe. That's not what you mean. That is what I mean. That is what I mean. Can you be compassionate? Yes, I can. Can Allah be compassionate? He is your passion. There we go. So you're made in the image of Allah. Is it the same? This is what we believe. This is what we believe. Is my compassion the same as the Creator? Tell me how it's different. Is it? Is it? So tell me how it's different. His is perfect, and mine is imperfect. No, so it's a matter of degree then. Not a. It's a qualitative difference, not a quality difference. Perfection, yeah, perfection. So that's qualitative. That's a qualitative reason. It's not the same. No, no, no. That is the same. It's not equal then. If something is more. Or of the same it's thing, the same. then is it, it the is same? the same. No, a, it's not you the don't same. understand the philosophical difference, but do you I understand the do. difference I between do. qualitative okay. and quantitative I, difference? I, I do. I what is a quantitative it's difference? difference in degree. Yeah, right, so and you are not, saying that Allah is, is compassion is perfect, same, though, yes. and yours is not perfect. Absolutely. So that is a quantitative difference, not a qualitative difference. How does that relate to how is how is your compassion? How is your compassion? How does that relate to right? All languages okay. and all cultures. So allow me to allow me to answer that question. To no. Allow me to answer that question. Okay? Because for those of you that are catching up with this conversation, I'll just give uh, a, 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 a I'm not a digressing. I, I am catching. I'm going to I'm equal. going to catch up. But you just interrupt all the time, Wasim, because your it's dean has it's failed you. Like his dean yes, okay. fails him. It doesn't make him into a better man. It makes him into a supremacist. That is his attitude. So let us just catch everyone up. I was talking about how Islam leads to Arabization. And we talked about the example of Coptic Christians he hasn't have their language bad. stripped away like from the them. They speak of Coptic, the world. He knows not isn't Arabic, bad. but because of Islam's domination in Egypt, their culture was suppressed. And then the brother said, well, how can you say that one language is equal to another? Because the brother there says that Arabic is the superior language to all languages. Superior to Greek, superior to Urdu, superior to English, superior to German, superior to Italian, superior to Coptic, superior to Syrian, Aramaic, Hebrew. Now, now, I said in response to this, no, all men are made in the image of God and language is an expression of their humanity Therefore, according to the Christian worldview, all languages are equal. That was my premise. Wasim then said, ah, well, that is not something I agree with. So I invited Wasim to debate it. And I asked Wasim, is he compassionate like Allah is compassionate? Is he merciful like Allah is merciful? And he said, no. Allah's mercy is perfect, mine is imperfect. Allah's compassion is perfect, my compassion is imperfect. Which means that he was working from a quantitative difference between his compassion and mercy and Allah's compassion and mercy. Quantifiable, quantitative differences are of the same kind. I invited Wasim to explain how qualitatively 
His compassion was different from Allah's and his mercy was different from Allah's. And he couldn't answer the question except to give a description that was based upon quantity. At which point he admits that he is made in the image of his creator, which is something that Islam denies, that we can see is rationally true, and is something that is taught in the scriptures in Genesis. Now, I invite Wasim to come back Hold in on. and explain can the you, qualitative can you commit, difference. Can you commit evil? Oh, yes. Can you commit evil? Yes. Does that, does God commit evil? No. Well then. No. So how is that the same then? How is that, how the, same? Is that the same? Can I do good? Yes, you can. I can do good. Is Allah good? Yes, of course. How is your is good different to Allah's good? It's different. It's different cause how? Allah's actions are perfect. My actions are imperfect. So it's quantitative. So it's not the same. No, it's, it's not. not it's same. not qualitative. It's quantitative. Allah is more perfect than me. That's a quantitative description, not a qualitative description. In other words, there is an inconsistency between how we reason this metaphysical question about God and what the texts of Islam say and what the texts of the Bible say. But the texts of the Bible accord with what we rationally can reason to be true. The texts of Islam contradict, contradict what we rationally know. And I'll explain the question about evil in the words of our father, St. Augustine, that evil is simply the absence of good. It isn't a thing in itself. It is simply the absence of another thing. It is like the shadow that the sun casts. It is the absence of light. A shadow is not a thing. It is the absence of another thing. Evil is the absence of good and therefore I can be evil because I lack God's spirit within me. I need more of God's spirit within me. Wasim and the Salafist supremacists there need more of God's spirit within them. Now, let us therefore work forward. If we believe, if we believe if we believe that all human beings are equally dignified, then that means saying that the culture of the Arabs is superior to every other culture, which is what actually works out in practice when Islam dominates the society. And if you don't believe me, go and ask the Coptic Christians their experience. Go and ask the Christians of Sudan. Do you honestly believe that the Nubians in North Sudan spoke Arabic before Islam arrived? The Christians of South Sudan had to fight for 18 years against a forced Islamification, against forced Arabization. They fought for 18 years and two million of our brethren died fighting jihadists who sought to impose Islam and Arabization upon them. We can do better than Islam and that betterness is found in the Christian faith. Because in the book of Revelations, we see that our vision of the future is not that everyone will be worshipping Allah in Arabic, but that everyone will be worshipping Allah, Yahweh, the one true God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit in every tribe and tongue. Which means that our vision, our eschatological vision of the future is what eschatological there you go there's a new word for you yeah that vision of the future is of a confederation of tribes equal in dignity each worshiping the one true god in one communion in many languages by contrast the vision of the future of islam is that I will what worship with other tribes in Arabic. 
Arabic. In Arabic. Could you give the Yahweh cognates of Yahweh in other languages, please? Yahweh is a name. Oh, it is translatable. Okay, what's it in English? It's a Hebrew what's term. What's in English? It's a Hebrew term. Thank you very but much. But because it is a noun, it is much. transferable. Okay, what's No it? one would say what's that Isa is not a name. What's Yahweh in English? Jehovah. So, Latinized to answer his question, Yahweh Latinizes into Jehovah. So, and we Christians can use the name Jehovah and Yahweh interchangeably. So we do not suppress one language and one culture. Christians can worship God by magnifying the best of their own culture. So Christianity makes the best of English culture increase and decreases what is worse within English culture. By contrast, the experience of the Namibians in Sudan and the Coptics of Egypt was to see their native culture be replaced by Arabization. Even in this park we've seen examples. A Jamaican converted to Islam, one week he was wearing a suit, then he became a Muslim and started dressing like an Arab. Think about that for a second. We've all witnessed it here. Arabization and Islamification go hand in hand. But as Christians, we simply say no. As Christians, we say that Namibian culture is equal to Palestinian culture. Palestinian culture is equal to Arab culture. Arab culture is equal to Punjabi culture. Punjabi culture is equal to Russian culture. And you should magnify that which is best within your culture, that which elevates man, that which elevates your soul to the good and suppress that which is opposed to the good. And we don't define the good by a 7th century Arab. We define the good by that which is love, by that which is hope, by that which is faithful, by that which is true, by that which is humble, by that which is just, by that which is prudent, by that which is wise, by that which is good. These are the things that we pursue. And I suggest to all of you that there is a better way than is being offered here by the Muslim Dawah team. And that is the way of Christ. It elevated barbarian hordes in the fourth century, my ancestors. And it elevated them to be the kinds of people who produced the Basilica of St. Peter's, the work of Picasso, the work of Dali, the work of Raphael. I'm not going to go through all the Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo. <laughs> but yes, Michelangelo. I was going to avoid going through all the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. The Christian faith elevates the soul of man because it makes him look towards that which is true and noble and just and beautiful. And the thing, and the thing that you look at, the thing that you look at is the thing that you emulate. The thing that you look at is the thing that you emulate. Muslims are encouraged to look at a 7th century Arab and so they emulate a 7th century Arab. But we as Christians are called to look towards that which is love, hope, faith, prudence, justice, wisdom, humility, truth. And if you look at those things, it will edify your soul. And that is why European civilization, Ethiopian civilization, Armenian civilization, well, 
in advance of their surrounding cultures produced civilizations that are the envy of their surrounding cultures. And with that thought, I call you to Christ to pick up your Bibles, to read them, to find a strong fellowship, to learn about this way which is Christ's, and to build yourself on the prophets and the apostles.